I'm kind of at a high level for this uh, area, but hey, higher the better, I guess, right? <laughs> Setting your sights a little high, aren't you, boy? Back to your hole, street rat. I will not allow you to trouble the princess anymore. Jasmine! I'm so sorry, Aladdin. Genie! Jasmine, please! One wish left. You're making this really easy, you know? <laughs> so sorry, boy. I'm afraid your second wish has been denied. Huh? I'm sorry, Al. <laughs> <laughs> and now, I bid you all farewell. Attack! I don't know the voice acting. I don't know if it's the voice acting or if it's the movements that they all do here. It's just very anticlimactic, really. All right, uh, this is the pot centipede. Uh, attack the pots. Try not to let it attach to the uh, centipede here, because then I'll just uh, um, make it all like yeah. yeah. All right, Donald, got the defense. Ah, sweet. Uh, attack all the pots that you need to attack. And of course, they'll give two uh, experience points each, and quite a bit of money, as you can see. Yay! Cool. So once you kill all the pots that you can, just attack this dude. Yeah, because no other pots will really be able to come its way. So just attack it, attack it, attack it. I'll try to uh, hit you with this little uh, stinger. Antenna things. But yeah, it really can't do much. Um, but if you allow the pot spiders to attack it, or I mean to attach to it, uh, then it can start crawling around everywhere and just go all over the place. You have to chase after it. So uh, yeah, try to attack the pot spiders first, and you get the ray of light. Jasmine! <laughs> To the desert! Come on, let's move! Yeah, that boss is called the Pot Centipede, I believe. Now, you know what? I'm gonna... I actually kind of forgot to check and see. Uh, well, I guess I can't now, so it's gonna be there, but. But I forgot to check and see what the ray of light does. Huh. I love that gravity thing, it's so cool. Yeah, there we go. A lot of babies, but hey, everyone levels up quickly, right? And you know what? I, I kind of noticed this, this one doing this run through, and my practice run through, because when my practice run through, I just had a lot of them most of the time. This one, you know, I have Donald with me, and I, even though I know if your characters are not with you, if you have a, like a temporary character, uh, your other characters can still level up, but I think they level up quicker if they are with you. So I think that's what I'm just gonna do. Now, because uh, Donald is not with me, I can't really level up that fast. Uh, Donald, you know, you can level up quicker, but now because you know how Donald got that uh, level up in my practice run, I did the exact same stuff. He didn't get a level up. So I'm just gonna keep my characters with me unless I need the alternate characters for something. Uh, which, you know, in this I will need Aladdin for some stuff, but just not right now. Right. Okay. Let's see what check in the last area. I was gonna check it if I could. Hey, I was actually wondering, uh, okay, for my listeners, do any of you deal with emulators and whatnot? Uh, because I... I was wanting to get the PS2 emulator for my computer and then download, uh, like, all the Grand Theft Auto games, you know, the ones that I actually own on my PS2. And the reason for that, um, even though I know I already own the games, um, the reason why I was wanting to download them onto my computer, like Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, is because, you know, the whole music situation with YouTube and W... M, G, what, whatever the hell it is, um, like, I was just wanting to play the game, do the let's play on it, while, uh, having the music turned off, you know what I mean, so I was just wondering if that was kind of possible to do that, and actually I think we go up here, can we go up here, I do not know, yeah, I don't think so, no, 
And I think there was something in here that I had to go to. I, I'm trying to remember exactly, uh... To the main street. It is in the main. Sorry, I was kind of. No, you know how I write my guide. It's what I post in the comment section. That's what I follow whenever I uh, record my stuff. Like I do my practice run, and you know on my practice run, um, that's when I write my guide. And then on uh, my recording, I follow the guide that I wrote from the practice run. So I just kind of got confused of where I was at, but now I'm uh, caught up. Know where I'm at. Go back into the palace gates, and okay, go onto this canopy, and you'll see some uh, wooden platforms down here. What you'll want to do is go and, of course, attack this hot spider. Attack that one. Do not jump down. Okay, I repeat, do not jump down yet until you open this chest and get the Protero chain. Another one. I'm getting a lot of those. Hmm. Oh well. Is this thing anything? Nope. Nothing there. Nothing there. Alright. Okay, that's all I needed in there is that uh, chest. Now what we're going to go do, do is, uh, is go back all through the areas. All the way back. I'll probably have to defeat these enemies again. I'm sorry. I know it kind of gets boring watching me defeat enemies, which I do not have to do, so never mind. I'll shut up on that. <laughs> uh, so now that we're in the desert, I'm going to get on the carpet. And we're going to go to a special area in the desert. Just walk forward a little bit. And, ooh, vibration. Wow, that's hard vibration. Wow. It's a lot. <laughs> Alright. This is what you call the Cave of Wonders. That's what you get to enter later on. But something's a little wrong with it. It needs some eye drops. Eye drops being your, uh, keyblade. Crush the power of darkness. So... Don't stay here on the bottom. What you want to do is go up to the side, climb on top, if you can, and just attack its eyes. Best you can. And then, uh, if you have difficulty going up the sides, it'll put his head down into the sand like that. Um, then just attack it from down here. But as soon as it gets back up, quickly round the way because it'll do a big fire blast, which will really hurt. And of course, as you know, it'll shoot lasers from its eyes. Uh, like you see that how they're trying to follow you. Uh, and of course, enemies will respawn. So if you need any HP balls, just attack the enemies. There we go. Oh, that's some AP. Cool. Sweet. Okay, so yeah, that's really about it. Just climb up to the... Well, if you can climb up. And once you're ready to shake his head, just kind of stay to the side. And then once it's done, try, try climbing back up. Things are happening. Uh, then dodge roll all the way. Dodge all that. Get some key balls. If you need it. And hello. I need up, please, up, up, up. Maybe up. Nope. Of 
Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Come on, almost done, almost done. Yeah. Now, I mean, if he just put his head down, try to uh, climb on top of his head. And try to stay up there as best as you can. Okay, camera, I hate the camera. I'm sorry. Move. Come on, camera, turn. Thank you. Sorry, it's just making me mad. There we go. All we needed. <sighs> All right. Well, Cave of Wonders is completed. What do we do now? We go inside. Roar! Yeah! Oh, that's right. Sora got to level up. So, he has more AP, which he has three now. Let's see here. I could give him Treasure Magnet. I could give him Guard, or I could give him Sonic Blade. I still don't use Sonic Blade. And especially in the Cave of Wonders, it's probably best if you don't use it, because you could fall off the side or, and into the another area below, which you really don't want to do. So I'm going to give him Treasure Magnet. And I know I can still do Guard. Here's a White Trinity. Keep that in mind. Um, I know I can still do Guard, but... I just don't use it all that much. So, yeah. Now, these enemies are gonna try and, uh. Not. Lead. Well, I don't know if they actually try to, but you can end up being led towards the edge here. Now, you can see this edge. You can fall off there. You can fall off all along the side. Try not to do that, please, unless I tell you to. And that could be kind of difficult, but there's going to be pits all over the place. So, whatever you do, try not to fall off the side. There we go. And it doesn't matter if you're a uh, party member, do just try not to do it yourself. And of course, there's more enemies. And watch out for the, the uh, boulders or the. Oh, they look like boulders? I don't know, they're kind of perfectly shaped, like round, and they have this design on them, so. Yeah, I'll just call boulders. Just watch out for those. I'll try not to get too technical with stuff here. Anyway, get on top. Open the chest. Get a Mega Ether. Yay. And you can see there's a blue one. Well, way up there, but we can't really get to that one yet. Um. Bleh. Now we're going to go over here into the hall. Now just kill enemies along the way. Uh, it really is kind of best to kill all of them. Try not to skip them because they could hit you when you least expect it. They could fall off the edge. So just kill them as you go. That's fine. That's what I always say. But, you know, always remind you because it is important. Kill them as you go. Huh. Yeah. Just be really careful with these dudes. Whoa. Because I know the edge is kind of, I think, near... I think it's near here, is it? Oh, no. Not too bad, I guess. There we go. Might make it a little easier. Yeah. Okay, so, healthy enemies are dead. Thank you. Okay, maybe not. Okay, well, go and kill these two. Like I said, stay. Don't go near the edge. Whatever you do, don't go near the edge. You've got to off just yet. Okay, is that it? Yes, good. Jump on that totem. I'm calling them water totems. And then jump on to the top here. Get this chest. Open it up. And you'll get an elixir. Now you see a chest over there. Um... Uh, down. I don't know, I'm kind of used to the controls being inverted, like with the look and stuff. I think I was able to choose that at the beginning of the game, but I think I was playing another game where it was like this. So, anyway, there's a chest over there. Way to get to it. Just jump off the corner here. Deer strike attack to get that extra boost. Same thing over here. Jump to the edge, open it up, and you'll get the Mithril Shard. Yay. Now you can see there's another opening right here, but we're actually not going to go down there. Instead, what we're going to go to is... Uh, well, after we get the enemies, I'll tell you where we're going to go to. Yay. Yeah, the fat bandits, bandits are kind of difficult. Especially to get around, because they're always trying to face you. There you are. Uh, okay, after that's done. Uh, trying to get hit by the rock, and we're going to actually go down here into the silent chamber. 